First, what was the experience and state of the maintenance crew? I have a second slide. Corporal Pang had arrived in New Zealand on 6 January and had begun maintenance work from 10th January. So 6 January he arrived, he began, he began maintenance work 10th January. This was Corporal Pang's seventh in camp training. He had been trained to perform maintenance and repair for the SSPH since he was a full-time national serviceman. In addition, during his previous ICTs in camp trainings in February of 2018, he had attended a two-day refresher maintenance vocation training on the basic functional checks and troubleshooting for the SSPH. That course also included safety procedures during gun movements. Before participating in Exercise Thunder War this year, Corporal Pang had undergone refresher training on maintenance tasks in New Zealand. For this exercise, Corporal Pang was involved in the preparation of more than 10 SSPHs, which included servicing and maintaining of the guns. The other two servicemen were also similarly qualified. The gun commander was in his eighth in-camp training and had undergone refresher training prior to his deployment in the exercise. The regular technician has eight years of working experience on the SSPH and it was his sixth time participating as a technician in exercise under warrior. Let me explain how maintenance work on the SSPH is conducted when the unit is deployed in the field. There are two levels of maintenance support, basic and higher. Basic support is provided by the SSPH Battalion's organic forward maintenance platoon made up of NS men, and Corporal Pang was part of this forward maintenance platoon. If the repair works exceed the scope of the forward maintenance platoon, more complex maintenance is requested from and performed by technicians in a higher maintenance echelon, and this is called the forward support group, who are made up of regulars. So basic support, made up of NS men, more complex maintenance made up of regulars in the forward support group. In this particular incident, Corporal Pang was first activated, but as he was unable to resolve the fault, Corporal Pang requested and received the help of regular technicians from the forward support group. Corporal Pang and one regular technician of ME2 rank were inside the cabin of the SSPH with the gun commander, a third sergeant NS man, when the incident happened. These are the three persons I, I reference in the beginning of my statement. 